Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough where we only deploy female soldiers. We're going on a mission to, well, kind of rescue the only male soldier on the squad, kind of male soldier on the squad. Praetal Mox, uh, well, a fixed character that we can't really change anything about, but we're gonna have to make a few changes here. Because there's actually two soldiers who will gain a promotion because of the uh, covert operation they did. So Callie Brown turns into a specialist, so carry on. And Emily Walker turns into a ranger, so that gives us a few more leveled up soldiers, so that's going to be really, really handy. So since most of our units are either lightly wounded or tired, I wanted to take a look at our other people. So Kelly Brown just turned into a specialist and I think we're going to use her as an extra addition to the squad. Which means we're going with Kelly, Jacqueline and Heidi. So Heidi, I keep saying Heidi, but she's from Sweden according to her uh, personal bio here. So I think that's also Heidi, right? Bit of a bit of a German part to it. Let's increase the crit chance on the shotgun that Heidi is using. There we go. And then we can actually add the accidental kill thing to... Hmm. Well, Jacqueline is doing a lot of shooting, so let's just give that upgrade to her. So the repeated 5% chance to instantly kill your target when you hit them, regardless of the target's remaining HP. And that's the team for today, so it's supposed to be an easy mission, but remember, remember we're on commander difficulty, so we'll see how this is gonna work. We only have three squad members, three of our Valkyries going out, but hopefully that's gonna be enough. Thanks to our friends in the resistance, we have a fix on the soldier that was taken captive during our previous operation. It sounds like they're being held in a high security advent facility, and our best chance at reaching them will be to go in as quietly as possible. If we're discovered, things are going to get ugly real fast. So rescue the operative from advent custody. I've never done a, a mission like this. And we need to do it as silently as possible, if I understand it correctly. That's gonna be interesting. So Operation Moonprints, here we go. So we're coming in with the Sky Ranger. Which always makes me wonder, how does this... How is this covert? I mean, you're literally... The intel has our operative being held in the main structure just ahead. We have the advantage of stealth here, so we should try to get in and out as quietly as possible. If the enemy spots us, this is going to get a whole lot harder. So, security level is one. The enemy is at ease, and it's... Oh, wow. Yeah, Praetal is all the way over there, so I'm going to rotate the camera a bit to see, because... Wow, I can't even find him anymore. There he is. Okay, this building is actually pretty big. I thought it wasn't. I thought this was the outside, but apparently not, so he's far away. So, let's see what we can do. I can already hear a turret. I heard the mechanical moving noise of a turret, so let's just slowly move up and see what's going on. I think this might actually take a while. So there's multiple. Oh wow! We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. So that's them over there. Uh, I should probably not even go in Overwatch, as if we go in Overwatch, we might actually trigger them. So that's multiple turrets. How many are there actually? There's five and well, they have five health and three armor each and there's two of them at the moment. Although I see... That should be it. I'm gonna try and work my way around the outside of the building. Because of course with those turrets over there we might not be able to sneak in. And that trooper is... Uh, Patrolling severely as well. We have Firebrand on standby for evac, Commander, but as soon as she gets in range, the whole compound will go on high alert. We should hold back unless we have the target or it's an absolute emergency. Okay, so that's just teaching you that you can use the Sky Ranger for evac if you want to. But for now, I want to be really careful because even in these blind spots, there might actually be aliens over here. 
that I don't put anybody too close. But uh, oh, that's in the yeah, that's in the middle. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm expressed there. But I'm gonna move along the outside, and I'll see you guys in a second when anything interesting happens. That troop is just gonna keep going. So we're coming up on the building that Pratol is hidden inside, and I feel like we should be able to just climb over the fence in the next turn to uh, get into the compound proper. Still only saw one uh, trooper around, and the turret's at the entrance there. I'm actually wondering whether this breaks concealment. If we go through here. Well, only one way to find out, I suppose. Let's go through. It doesn't make any noise, so we're still good. So, positions outside of the door. For now we're fine, but there's probably more troopers where that came from. Okay, so it's time to head into the building. Normally we should have sights on the entire building, but I'm gonna make my way through here very carefully. So, Heidi should probably go last since she's the ranger. Um, so if I put Jacqueline in here behind full cover. What happens? Still, 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 still in shadows. She's still in stealth. And that means we should probably... We should probably go in Overwatch, right? Because if I go over here and there's somebody in the room... Mm, I'm gonna try it. Callie, go take a look. Go take a look. Does he have a guard? It doesn't seem like he does. He has a guard. So which means that we can probably move everybody up. And then Heidi on the other side. You know what? Even at the window. Because I know this counts as a window. But just her in full cover. Ooh, there's somebody getting closer. If Jacqueline gets spotted through the window, that would really suck. But I think I can now hack the door from a distance. Remotely hack targets with the gremlin. Accessing system. So there we go. Open up the door. Luckily, we, we brought the specialist in. So either bypass the door and unlock this door without triggering security protocols. On fail, no effect. So the door will open nonetheless, but I have a 55% chance to trigger, well, 45% chance to trigger the alarm. Or we can delay the dark events. Unlock the door without triggering security protocols. I think we should go for that, right? That the alarm doesn't go off. Yeah, let's try that. And... Oh! Okay. So that means that the alarm will go off. That's... Yup. Firebrand is in position and the compound is on full alert. Okay, but that, we're really close then, that means. Oh, God. So, um... Jacqueline, can you get in there and grab Pratol? I think you can, right? This is the spot there that he's at, so... Let's burst through the door. Kick the door in. And then we can um, immediately enter concealment once per mission. Well, we need to carry the unit. And does that give me another action now? No, I need to head out now. Can we get through the window, I'm wondering? Can we see? No. We can't get through the window, so we need to exit through that door again. Unless we open up a wall. I could technically do that. So if I go over here. Moving out. And I put Kelly's grenade into the wall. I should probably get... Although it's not that far from the door either. You know what? If I can open up this door this wall 
That should be enough, right? Uh, I open up... Hmm, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, because now we need to move anyway. So let's cancel the grenade throw. And put her on Overwatch. Heidi on Overwatch as well. And then Jacqueline, she should go over here into cover. And there we go. Then we're going to have to see what happens. Because the three Valkyries have been exposed. I think the trooper is all the way on the other side of the building. What was that sound? So I'm not exactly sure. So enemy is on max alert, by the way. It went from 1 to 10 in one go. Okay, and they're going to drop down there. Maximum alert status. They put out a distress signal and we're already picking up multiple inbound transports. Um, so that means we should get out of here as quickly as possible. I can actually re enter Sitrap Conceal. Immediately enter concealment once permission. I didn't, I don't know why I have that. I was never here. So I can conceal and then even put myself over here with an overwatch shot to handle whatever comes our way. Um, I could technically put down Praetal to just, yeah, get out in a minute. Uh, this is so annoying. Kelly also has a grenade, so might as well also conceal Kelly. Then put her over here in the corner. Moving to position. And toss a grenade at the wall so this wall i hope that's not an explosive because otherwise that's gonna hurt but um the wall the wall the wall over here no that's that's too close once no there yeah just straight onto that thing Great. throw it please don't kill yourself there we go wall open oh what why where oh yeah of course the grenade the grenade probably uh it gets rid of concealment there. Um, if I go over here, do we get an evacuation immediately? Hmm. I think I can move there in one go if I want to. So let's just put Heidi on Overwatch with the shotgun. And then Jacqueline can evac. There we go. And that lovely French of hers. So rescued operative down and there comes the advent uh, troops. We haven't shot at anything yet. Was that a... What the hell is that? Is that a side trooper? Oh, gold. It would seem advent has begun deploying their so-called priests into combat. Their implants provide significant enhancements to whatever latent psionic energy they may have once possessed. Um, Heidi, why didn't you, why didn't you shoot them? Oh, fuck. I didn't know they were going to get a turn. No, okay, they didn't. They didn't. So I could try and kill them, but that would be suicide. Ah, they didn't see. Kelly is out in the, well, completely hidden behind that full cover. And she can get over here, hopefully. And then Heidi is gonna, of course, be be revealed. But I mean, better revealed than, uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's just get out of here. Spotted enemy. They've seen me. That's not a problem. They're not on Overwatch or anything, so we can just leave if I press the correct button. Evac. So there goes Heidi. And then we get Kelly as well and evac her. So we didn't even fire a single shot. There we go. No one left behind. Even got the trophy for that. Come operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Everything by the numbers. Mission accomplished. There we go. By the numbers and a very passive echoes the drone. So she was not too scarred by the experience. As brief as it was. So flawless. We didn't kill a single of the seven enemies on the field, but uh, nobody was wounded and nobody was killed either. Advent peacekeeping forces have issued a worldwide security alert 
after several dangerous prisoners were freed from their holding cells at an undisclosed rehabilitation facility. Citizens are urged to report any sightings to their nearest peacekeeper. Several? I only know of one. And he's like an alien. An alien man, I suppose. I don't know if they are female advent soldiers. Not exactly sure. But there we go, we got our operative back. And I don't know if we get a special cutscene because it was Praetor on Mox. It wasn't easy, but Mox has been safely returned, Commander. He's eager to get back into the fight. So, we get cohesion and an available bond between Kelly and Heidi, which is also cool. Uh, and Jacqueline just turned tired, which is annoying. So, Kelly and Heidi have a very high chance. Yeah, very high compatibility, so let's just do that. Confirm the bond. Uh, we don't need to make a poster for that. I only make poster for, posters for uh, deceased soldiers. So, uh, there we go. Another bond between Kelly and Heidi. I am glad to return to your service, Commander. I will not forget what you and your soldiers have done for me. And we got Praetor, so he's gonna be... And no casualties. You can lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. So he's gonna be our only male soldier, because I'm afraid we might have to keep him in our ranks just because of the story uh so now we're still having a bit of soldier trouble uh not in the sense that our soldiers are the trouble but just the fact that we have very little uh really good soldiers at the moment so we only have one more rookie that we need to level up so that's good but otherwise we are only looking at 11 soldiers including Mox. So, I'm wondering if we need to grab another recruit. You know what? I think I was doing that on the map as well. And in four days, we have more stuff available for us. This is the headquarters of the Skirmisher faction. They may look like Advent, but they sure don't act like it. Now that we've established contact, we can scan at this location to gain additional support for our cause. Aha. Uh -huh. You know them as they were, the soldiers of Advent. Now they are free to choose. If you stay your course, Commander, they will stand with you until the end. Okay, so Beto seems like a female I Advent soldier. That we meet. I am Betos, first of the freed Advent. You are safe here. Praetor Mox was new to our cause, but he believed in our people's freedom. In this alliance, in you, Commander, I shall do the same. My skirmishers stand ready, should you need them. May our people stand united until the false gods fall. So the skirmishers, children of the dawn. New faction orders granted private channel inside job number one and covert actions now available in the ring. Okay. Don't know what that all means. I think we were checking out the abandoned colony with those rookies. Uh, we also can make contact with South Africa or, of course, with West Africa where the Advent Black Side is. So let's start with checking those abandoned colonies and the rookies. Avenger plotting new course. As if we can get a few more rookies, we can start training them now since we're still in the early game. So let's start scanning there and finish that off. Elena has recovered, and there was another recovery there, but Alien Biotech has completed. So much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip 
bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. We got some compliments there. That we survived as long as we did. New objective added. So examine an Advent officer corpse. So therefore we need to do the autopsy. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. So basically we just um, researched the chip that was inside of our head. So the commander's head. And most importantly, if my current theory is correct, the commander may have played a more important role in advance operations than we could have possibly imagined. So we do get a new facility, the infirmary, new research, and that's mainly just the autopsies that are now uh, available to us. So the sectoid and advent officer autopsies. And the infirmary, an engineer can be staffed in the infirmary to decrease the time where soldiers need to recover from injuries, which is great of course. Soldiers can be staffed here to remove negative traits acquired in combat, and the hyper vital module upgrade allows for the temporary suspension of a soldier's health for the duration of any single combat deployment. Commander, the science team has grown particularly interested in this field of research, so much so that their inspiration could lead to vast improvements in our research efficiency. However, we must act fast. Despite their brilliance, they are a fickle group. So we get inspired on magnetic weapons. Commander, our science team had a novel idea related to magnetic weapons. If we begin research immediately, we should obtain results faster than usual. If we begin another research project, instead of acting on this inspiration, the opportunity will be lost. So magnetic weapons are now 16 days instead of double that, I'm supposing. Armor is also important, but we still can't do that with the alien alloys. But magnetic weapons we can now do without any other resources. And 16 days is doable, so yeah, I think we're gonna go for magnetic weapons next then. I love the randomization like this. So Tatiana also recovered from her wound, so now we have both uh, our Dragonov sniper. We've got local resistance forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. And if everybody wants to shut up for a moment, I might be able to say something. So Dragunov, Dragunova has been uh, freed from the infirmary as well. So let's check out the rookies. Nothing God damn it. Comms. Advent's been quiet lately. Oh no. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification Massive system. signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth who are determined to see all that we have achieved Multiple crumble. Multiple radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today... You've got incoming on approach! Your signal's breaking up. ...outlying territories to end this scourge once and for all. They're right on top of you! Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again! But you did hear that, right? Safety and well-being throughout this crisis. But there we go. Advent incoming. They will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace and prosperity. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. We should. And there we get our first glimpse at the faceless. Commander, we have a squad ready to move on the Resistance Haven currently under siege by the aliens. Give the word and we'll move out. So instead of terror missions, we have Advent, Advent Retaliation missions. Because, uh, yeah, they just started bombarding one of our havens. So let's check the retaliation site. 
Advent is attacking one of the resistant havens in East Africa. We'll need to respond quickly to prevent further civilian casualties. It looks like everybody was already dead, dead but uh, there we go. For the East African sector. And I'm really afraid of this because it seems like it's going to be even more difficult than before. Since the Nightblade is all... all Betty over there as well and all our corporals are still tired so this is gonna be the team for next time operation first glove with Kelly, Draconova, Heidi and Lisbeth so there we go that's the team for next time but before we do that I'd like to thank you guys enormously for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2 Valkyrie and next time we're gonna stop an advent retaliation so hopefully I hope because this is gonna be hard see you guys next time goodbye